your big toe pad, you've got an extra swelling on there. And that appears when you're going through a period of overthinking more than usual. What I'm now going to do is lift your foot and have a look and see if you've got any cracks which would indicate obstacles you have to overcome. When you tell people what you do, what sort of reaction do you get? They are definitely <laughs> sceptical. I mean, I would be, if someone came up and said, oh, hi, I'm a foot reader, it's like, yeah. what's that? <laughs> The UK's number one foot reader, Jane Sheehan, says she once counted herself amongst the sceptics, but an emotional encounter caused her to do a complete heel turn. I was with my friend Claudine for her birthday. She fancied having some reflexology. I didn't know what it was. We rock up and they're telling her all about her health and I'm thinking, that's bonkers, you know. Then they start working on me and every time they touched my big toe, I had tears streaming down my face, I had no control over it and worse, it repeated on the other foot. So I had to know more. And this led me to a guy called Imri Shumagi and he'd interviewed 5,000 people about their toe shapes and their personality, <laughs> I kid you not. And I memorised them and I started using them on anyone and everyone who'd let me. And it got way out of hand. It got to the stage I'd go to a party and I'd be given a foot before I'd be given a glass in my hand. <laughs> in the past, you would try and keep your feelings to yourself, especially your feelings about work. That's this piece of hard skin here. And now that's changed. I look on the present foot and that's not there anymore. So now, you know, you've moved on from that situation. I read emotions and personality through the distortions in the feet. So if your feet are perfect, I'm not interested because that's normal, that's balance. I'm looking for the things that are off balance, that are distorted. Your right foot represents the past for me and your left foot represents the present. So I'm seeing differences. So if it's wider on the right than the left, it means you're more hard working in the past than now. Now it's a love of aesthetics. Can you actually see someone's personality when you look at their feet? Oh, definitely. Yeah, well, if you think about how you walk, you watch people walking down the street and you can see who's got the world on the shoulders. You know, they're more slumped forward. They're cutting off the blood circulation to the toes, so I will see depression as dark purple or black in the toe pads because of that cut off of the blood supply because they slump more forward. And if you see someone who's jolly, they've got a spring in their step, haven't they? Mm. And you see a pinkier look on the feet. And if they're angry, they're like <laughs> slapping their feet on the ground. Mm. And you see the feet with a lot more red in them. And you know red's anger when you're looking at the feet. So I'm looking at those colour changes through the blood supply because of how they're walking. Can you see you've got this sort of bulging shape out from the little toe? Well, I hadn't noticed, but yeah. <laughs> this would be the shoulder reflex in reflexology. And we would call that big shoulders for other people to cry on. <gasps> so good listener. And the great thing is you've learned that listening is enough. You don't take it on board as if it's your own. Ah. So that's nice. Ah, good. There is science behind it, but I think it's a science and an art. Uh, Imri Shamagi's work is well documented and that's where we've allocated each of the toes, one of the five elements, and studied what does it mean if there's a distortion in that element. However, I've also amalgamated some other theories. So Chris Stormer is a South African foot reader who says she channeled it from the angels. Well, I've used some of her work to read the rest of the foot because Imri's work is just the toes. Also, I've benchmarked it. The more people that I see, the more I fine-tune how I'm reading. When I'm looking at the heels, in the zone four down, there's a tiny bit of peeling skin, which represents fresh start, new beginning, oh. in the way you're thinking about people who are close to you impacting on your sense of security and how you want to move forward and take the next step. And the peeling would indicate fresh start, new beginning in that situation. Mm. So pretty good news, really, in terms of moving forward and taking the next step. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mm. I feel exposed. <laughs> <laughs>